do you become a leader? That's what this video is all about. My name is Tineke Rense from Powerful Business Academy and I help self-employed businesswomen building a business and becoming a business owner, which requires leadership. Because it's not just you yourself and you anymore in your business. You will become the leader of your business. Now, it's not always something that we aim for, but it comes with the job. And if we have a big mission and a big vision, becoming a leader is significant. Otherwise, nobody will hear about it. You need to be out there. You need to be an example. Now, what about leadership? It starts with personal leadership. Are you the leader of your life, even when nobody's watching. Personal leadership is about resilience, commitment, discipline, lo being loving, being connecting. So it's about personalities that you can train, personalities that you can evolve. So it always starts with personal leadership. If you don't organize your, your personal life, appearance, person, becoming a leader or being a leader is very, very difficult. So it starts with that. And if you are resilient about your personal leadership, at some point you either will have the ambition to become a leader or things start to shift in your area. People start to notice you. They start to see your accomplishments because you're always in time. You always have your deadlines. You always look impe impeccable. You always keep your, uh, keep your word. And all the things that are important for personal leadership. So then people start to ask you or invite you. They start to ask you questions or they invite you to apply for a job or other things. They start to ask you for help because they start to see that you have things in order. They start to see that you have and do things that they want or they need. So that's how you transition from personal leader in your own life and in your own family and friends to becoming a leader in a bigger arena. Or you just apply for a management uh, job or director's job. That's also when you become a leader. Or when your business starts to grow and more people are involved in your business. You get more and more clients, so you need to uh, scale up. You need to have people uh, to support you, to work for you. You become the business owner and the leader of your business. And there are leaders that are in the front. They're visible, they're in the spotlights. And there are leaders that are in the background. And Maybe one of them serves you better or, or less. For me, the, the, the one, for me, it's a combination. Um, it's the spotlights, but it's also the background. Um, so it, it depends what you want. And, and either way, it's good. Yeah, if, if you don't want to have the attention, but you have the skills, you have the authority, you have the knowledge and people want to work with you and, and you can teach and train them in a team, then you are a leader and it, it, it doesn't always have to show to the outer world that you are that leader. Leadership is nothing to do with being in the spotlight and it is possible that you will be in the spotlights. Yeah, so, so don't think that when, when you want to be, uh, I, 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 I don't want to be in the spotlight so I can't become a leader. That's not the case. Yeah. And often age helps, maturity, experience helps for people to see you as a leader. Because you can claim that you are a leader, but will people see you as a leader and expect and accept you 
as the authority. You can claim being, an, uh, being uh, the authority, but if people don't accept that, you're not having the authority that you want and that you claim that you need or want or have. So there's some things that are important when you are a leader. It's important that you have vision and that you can persuade or that, that, that people feel inspired by you. Because persuading, women often see that as pushing. That's, that's, that's not what I mean. But that people get inspired by your vision and they want to they wanna be there and they want to help and they want to serve and support. It requires ownership. It requires that you can stand up and say, yes, I'm responsible for this. This is my team. These are my people. And if they make mistakes, it reflects on you. Yes. Can you take ownership for that? Can you see that maybe you could have done or said something different and the mistake had not been made? So take ownership. It's very important. Self-esteem. Well, if you're insecure, it immediately shows and you vibrate it as well. People will feel it. And then there's disrespect. They don't accept the authority of you as the leader. Make sure you have a solid foundation that your personal leadership is in order, that your mental balance is in order that you don't get very emotional or upset, that you have a big container, that you have a lot of love for other people. It's important. If you solely want to become a leader because of the position and the respect that, that, that you want to get from people, it's going to be lonely and it's going to be hard. Because nowadays in the Western society, that's not so much how it works anymore. More and more feminine leadership is entering the arena and it's not an, anymore just about position and power and overpowering. That's not the kind of leadership I'm talking about. And like I already said, uh, age does help. The older you get, the more experience, the more authority, uh, the more knowledge, the wiser you are. It helps um, claiming that you're a leader. So if you want to find out more about leadership uh, and, of course, scaling and growing your business, why don't we schedule a quick 15-minute call? Uh, it's just 15 minutes. It's for us getting to know each other. It's checking out if we like each other, if I would even be able to help you or that you'll find out what there is about to, to scale and grow your business. I will give you some tips and ultimately then it's just up to us. Do we want to continue the conversation or not? Either way, I'm loving these conversations. Uh, so the link is there. It's in the description or in the comment or in the post. Uh, you can click on it, schedule a call. And I'm looking forward to talking to you very soon. And if not, well, why don't you find more of these videos on my YouTube channel, Powerful Business Academy. Or start following me somewhere online, Tineke Rensen. And if not, there's another video next week. And I'm equally as happy to inspire you again. Bye bye.